So you have a car, and you're kind of rice, and you want all your friends and everyone else on the road to know it. Welcome to your number one source of information for everything rice that you love. Okay? All right. So, you have one of these things, and you want to make it do this. Stick around for the rest of the video and learn how to do that because it took me probably a solid two days on this specific program. I have done it before on other programs, but this one's a little harder, but it's almost free. Anyways, on with the video. How's it going guys? Welcome to today's video. And I'm assuming if you clicked on this, either you're a regular viewer who just wants to see what I'm up to or you are someone who's looking to have a little bit fun, be a little bit rice, and um, make your car pop. So, most of the time you see these things on BMW, 350Zs, on LS engines, on this and that, but most of the time these things are on German cars and it's, you know, this is, this is how they have to do it. They basically get a Cobb access port or an APR tune or uh, in BMW case like a JB series tuner, whatever. And there's a thing that says burble, it's a little touch screen thing, or if they send it out to APR, uh, they tune the ECU and give it back to them and you can select on their website like uh, aggressive burble, medium burble, blah, 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 whatever. I'm gonna get right out there and say this, all right guys? This does nothing, nothing, nothing for performance. I, that shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. I think we all just kind of want to have the little pops, the little pops here and there. Now, disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything you do. I'm not a pro tuner either. Now that that's out of the way, disclaimer, I'm not responsible for you breaking anything if you do end up breaking some. You shouldn't, it's super easy. Uh, it seems a lot more complicated than it really is and it all starts with this. Now, this is one of the things I got Cali for Christmas. It's a screenshot. That's the thing, uh, just search that on eBay. Um, I paid a little bit more for this one because it was in the US and I wanted it to come quick for Christmas. But uh, you can get this, you know, for probably 15, 10, 15 bucks, whatever it is. But make sure it's the FTDI, make sure it's that cord, not the other one that doesn't have the FTDI whatever chip. So this is what you need, plugs into your OBD, plugs into your computer. OBD USB that can go over there so that's the first thing you need so basically that's the only money you're gonna have to spend unless you blow your engine up don't blow your engine up but what you're gonna need to do is get a two thought well 2005 and up Subarus alright this program works for other things like Mitsubishi's mostly it's Evo guys and uh, DSM guys whatever that are on the other forums there's other forums of ROM Raider for that so that leads me to another thing you're going to need to download ROM Raider. I'll leave that in the description and you're going to need to download ECU Flash. I'm going to leave that in the description and you're going to have to buy this and I'll leave this link in the description. I'm not getting paid. These are not affiliate links. You won't see any bitly nothing helping you guys out here. All right. So 10 to 20 bucks for that adapter. That's it. And you gotta download two free programs. Now, the other stuff I'm not gonna get too technical into, but when you go to the websites with the links I give you to download those things, there's step-by-step -step instructions on how to set all that up. So, once you get into there, I'll show you exactly what to change right now. Right, so this is what you're looking at right here. Sorry, I don't have a screen capture, but this is ECU flash. We won't be needing that right now. This is a stock tune right here. So, what we're gonna wanna do is when you first open it up, it's going to look like that, minus this stuff right here. So you're going to get that stuff right there, and you're going to look for Ignition Timing Advanced, okay? Just go straight to Ignition Timing B, and right here, you're going to click, and just drag it all the way down, right? You're going to come up here. And you're gonna say negative uh, 15. Yeah, that should be good. Click enter. Boom. You see all that? All that's negative 15. Now, just for good measure, I also click this one and drag it all the way down. Come back up and set it to negative 15. And then I click this, 
drag it across the bottom, come up here, and set it at negative 15. Okay, so that's what you got to do for that. Now, close your timing, advance, whatever, you don't have to worry about that shit anymore, right? AT, MT, that just means automatic or manual, so manual transmission, if you go over here, change your shit to those numbers, okay? Go to the next MT, change your shit to those numbers, right? Go to the next MT, change your shit to those numbers. And go to the final MT, and change your shit to those numbers. These are my exact numbers, you can play around with the numbers if you want and get exactly how... You know, you can fine-tune the pops and however you want them to sound, but I did this to how Callie wanted it to sound. So, once you've done all that, and your timing's out of the way, you're going to go to your fueling, which is going to be primary open loop, fueling A. Again, just select all these, and just bring them down to like six, okay? That's it. And up here, if these numbers don't look like this on yours, Change them to this. Next thing, go to fueling B. Same thing, but slightly lower. These are my uh, values, my numbers, whatever you want to call them. And you see these are the RPMs right here, and this is the load on the engine. And of course, once you are done with that, you're going to go file. Yeah, you're going to go save blah, blah blah as, save it as whatever you want. Make sure you type in dot bin. You have to physically type in dot bin or it won't show up in ECU flash, all right? Saving you guys that headache. This is two days in the making here. You go to your, your, your ECU flash, you plug in the two connectors. I'll put a, uh, a picture right here. Underneath your steering column, underneath your dash on the driver's side of your Subaru. And then you turn the key on, you go file, open ROM, you know, whatever, open the ROM. And then right here, this button, right there, right to ECU, you're gonna click. But before you click that, click this that says read from ECU. So you can store your stock ROM in case you fuck your shit up and you wanna go back to stock. While you are doing all this, there's a lot of information here. Do not in any way ever unplug or turn the key off, okay? Make sure that everything is connected and no one touches the computer. Don't even breathe next to it. Disclaimer. If you unplug it at the computer or you unplug it at the ECU or you turn the key off while it's flashing, 9 out of 10 times the ECU can become completely unusable and you will never be able to get it back. Another disclaimer. A couple disclaimers in this video. Again, it's really not that complicated. Um, the thing that sucks is you have to use a separate program to log. You just kind of have to like... Do your tune, log it, and then like tune off of that, and then upload it with a separate thing so it's not like Neptune or Honda or Megasquirt where you could just do it all in one app, which kind of sucks, but you can't really complain about a $20 tuning cable, a sub $20 uh, tuning cable and, th and two free programs. Or, sorry, it comes with three. When you download ROM Raider, it's gonna come with a logger, a logger for the touch screen, which you probably won't need unless you have an FRS or BRZ or GT86, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you do it. I showed you guys the values with my exact numbers. Try it out. You can go up, you can go you know, negative seven degrees, you can go 20 degrees, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just, you know, I'm just showing you guys my exact method of doing it. And, uh, and now I will show you guys all of the clips of how it sounds.
sounds sick. So you guys heard it. If you guys like it, let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. All the links that are necessary to do all this are in the description. Um, I don't know if I should link eBay because those links usually expire. So I'm just going to write down like what to search on eBay. Uh, so you guys don't get a dead link because, yeah. But I like how I got it to pop in between shifts. I like how it does that like violent popping on the down rev and you feather the throttle a little bit to keep it popping as you're, you know, going down on the RPM. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.